I probably don't need to tell you that fear can be totally counterproductive and debilitating. When we get afraid, we turn our, uh, our sights inward instead of outward. And uh, oftentimes what we end up doing is, is blocking the best solutions to our problems because we're self-focused. You know, whatever you put a magnifying glass on intensifies. So really what fear does is it puts a big magnifying glass on the things that we, we are most afraid of, the things that we dread. Somebody once uh, gave an acrostic, and I'm sure you probably heard it, but it really does make a lot of sense. They said that fear is false evidence appearing real. So I believe that we were all wired for contribution. And when we turn our sights inwardly, we begin to think about how we're going to provide for ourselves, how we're going to promote ourselves, how we're going to protect ourselves. And there probably is a time to do that. Like if, if we're in an immediate danger, that's, that's great. You know, if a truck is coming for you, then by all means, then, you know, dive out of the way of it and, uh, you know, take care of things. But oftentimes fears are not even real. They're, they're, um, we get focused on things that have not happened yet. And, and sometimes we even create self-fulfilling prophecy that um, causes the things that we fear the most to actually happen to us when that didn't need to be the case. So um, just a couple thoughts here. One is that, that um, normally if, if there's time, we, we need to just take time to slow down. You know, our best solutions don't usually come to us when we're focused intently on trying to fix a problem. If you're like me, you usually get your best ideas when you're standing in the shower or you know when you least expect it. And I think that's because when you take your focus and you get it off the center of you and, and onto other things, I think that's when we tap into that, that realm of creativity that is bigger and greater than ourselves. And I think that's where our best solutions come from. So um, again, you know, if you're standing in front of a bus and the bus is about to hit, hit you, then please by, by all means move. But otherwise, it's probably best to count to 10. Take your focus off of yourself. Uh, stay focused on contributing to others. And I believe that oftentimes a solution will come to you that uh, is much more powerful than what you would have done by reacting in the moment. Um, I'm just a big uh, proponent of um, response instead of reaction. So I don't want to be running away from things unless, again, unless it's just an immediate, uh, I have to do it right now. I'd rather just take my time and, and allow the best solution to come to me and then begin to build a, a plan around that. So again, uh, most of the things that we are afraid of don't actually end up happening to us. We can often inflame the situation, make it even worse, and uh, cause something to, bad to happen because we were focused on the wrong things. So uh, you know, stay true to your identity. Remember who you are at all times. Uh, don't let your thinking become small and confined. Think abundantly. And most of all, stay focused on contributing to others. And I believe the solutions to your problems will come as you do those things. We'll see you in the next video.